and great man. Ruhullah Khomeini was his beautiful name. To bring Islam back was his one and only aim. Everyone said, he's a man of inspiration. We know the story. He turned around an entire nation. But more to us, he truly inspired those who replicated his actions. Those individuals gained true satisfaction by mirroring Ayatollah Khomeini's passion. Those individuals are few in number but high in morality. Their deep connection with God defines their spirituality. Sacrificing everything is their Husseini mentality. Experiencing tragedy upon tragedy all for the sake of humanity. Son. Of those greatly inspired individuals was one who was born in Zaria city on 14th Shaban. An individual who took inspiration to its rightful level and formed a plan. His mission was the same as Khomeini's, to bring back Islam, the religion of peace. This one man, he was determined, he was strong, he was certain, he was wise, he was a leader. He is amongst the best believer. I'll tell you his name, but you may already know the man who was truly inspired to one of the highest degrees. His name is none other than Honorable Sheikh Ibrahim Zak Zaki. How can we, people, be in this delusion and think we were ever inspired by Khomeini's revolution? For the revolution yielded for us all seeds. We were all given these seeds, but it was only Zak Zaki who took the seeds and actually planted the tree. Zak Zaki is the head of the Islamic movement of Nigeria. His movement is bringing many towards the truth, towards what is right. The growth of this movement is making the government very uptight, but I ask, why is such a peaceful movement causing so much concern? Why are they so, what are they so scared about? You see, brothers and sisters, this movement exposes the government of their crimes, of their corrupt accounts. They don't want people to know. They pretend to be your faithful friend when in fact they are just a flattering foe. So you see, goodness and honesty has sadly, sadly now become a threat. That's why they imprison Zak Zaki so everyone may forget. But I'm sorry to say, the so-called damage has already spread. The love of Islam that you thought us has been permanently engraved in our heads. Your violent attacks are only making the movement more widespread. Hassan. Do they think that killing all of Zak Zaki's sons are going to make him stop? Do they not know that Zak Zaki is a follower of Imam Hussein? Hussein, the very man who in his life was given so much pain. This pain only strengthens the mission. So I'm so sorry, but your countless attempts will not stop Zak Zari's vision. Zak Zaki says, our weapon is positive reasoning, truth, and good conduct. Guns are for the reckless and can only destruct. So, to the enemies of peace, to the enemies of harmony, I kindly request you to open your ears and hear. I'm going to say this loud and clear. The people of peace are not going anywhere. Zak Zaki, they may have made you disappear, but we are not going to let your mission end here. Jazakallah.